now I'm on an Aprilia RS 660. Do I regret it? Be the uh, the first moto vlog of the channel. We'll see if this works. This is just a test run here. It's probably going to be very windy. Probably very very windy. Should be a good day today. But yeah, first moto vlog. Should be fun. Should be fun. All right, so let's talk about, we're gonna talk about something. We're gonna talk about something. <laughs> Harley ride is bad. Let's talk about my first bike, if we can. Just last year, I got my motorcycle license. In January, I think it was exactly January 2nd or January 3rd of last year. I knew I wanted to buy a bike last year, my first bike. I didn't know which bike I wanted. I was considering, there's a couple options. I knew I wanted to go with Honda because as a first bike, you know, maintenance wasn't going to be too bad. There's an air tag on that dealer plate. Maintenance wasn't gonna to be too bad. So I knew that a Honda would have been a better option. I was looking around, shop around, right? I thought, okay. You know, I was thinking, okay, maybe a CBR 300R is the right option. You know, maybe, maybe a 300R just to start off with, right? Talked to a couple friends. They convinced me, no, see a 300 is good for a year, right? It would have been good for just one year and you would have got bored of it because of the lack of power. I'm like, okay, all right. I took that into consideration and I threw that out, you know, out of the, the uh, window essentially. So I went up to the CBR 500R and I was gonna buy that brand new. I think brand new is CBR 500R was like $7,000, something like that, or even like something equivalent. I wasn't, I wasn't tied into the Honda. Cause like a Ninja 400, you know, a uh, Jixxer, I don't know what it is. I don't know what they have. A 300 or a 500, I didn't even have that. Uh, Yamaha, you know, R3 I was even considering too. You know, equivalent to a CBR 500 because, you know, it's Hondas, they, they're really lacking power in, in compared to everything else. They're good mechanically sound, you know, bikes. They really are just, just phenomenal. But like I said, when it comes to the power, you know, everything else sort of beats it in terms of what the numbers say. So I, I continue to shop around. I'm like, okay, maybe I can get, and you know, everybody online tells you, don't do it. And I was very hesitant to do it, All right? I was looking around for a 600 double R, Honda 600 uh, double R. I, I played with that idea for a little bit you know, in 2021. I'm like, okay, well maybe, maybe I can, it's a nice Audi, I like the Audi a lot. Maybe, maybe I can get one and not, you know, hurt myself at all with it, right? So I was shopping around, nothing on the marketplace. Uh, you know, Facebook marketplace now is like the most, in my area at least, it's like the best thing to use when you're selling something. You know, no, no longer, there's no more, eBay's okay, but for shipping, right? But for local stuff, Marketplace is the way to go here. So, you know, I looked around November 2021, December 2021, you know, October, November 2021, you know, all those months, you know, went by and everything looking for a 600 double R. And nothing. I mean, everything was, and I was, I actually found a blue one, a 2007 Honda CBR 600 double R. I'll put a photo up. If, if I'm gonna get another bike, it'll be that one there. But, but pretty much, right, I, I found that, contacted the guy. The guy's really hard to, to get a hold of. It, it took two weeks to get a response from the guy. You know, I wasn't really overly happy, but I was ready to give him the, the six grand that he was asking for. That deal didn't fall through. He ended up selling it three weeks later. He had said he had hundreds of messages, which I understand because when I, you know, sold my 600 R last year in August, you know, I had a lot of messages too about it. 
So that one sells. The, the 2007 CBR 600RR, the one that I was going to get sells. Gone. I'll wait a little bit, right? December hits around mid-December and I find one for $4,000. 15,000 miles. 15,800 miles. On it. And I'm like, alright, what's up with this one? Right? The guy low sided it. He said that the previous owner low sided it too. He also did it, so. That's a guaranteed fact that it, the bike has gotten two low sides. So I contact him. I'm sorry, I don't contact him. I, I, I say the listing on Facebook, when you relist an item, right, I think it, it deletes it from people's saves, right? So, like a week later, I haven't saved, I keep on looking, I'm like, man, this gotta be good. Keep looking at it, and I'm like, man, I really gotta go for this, I really gotta go for it, I really gotta go for it, I really had to go for it. I really, 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 really had to go for it. A week later, it's gone from Marketplace. I'm like, no way. I've got a buddy at work who also rides too, and I, I talked to him, I'm like, dude, it's gone. We were working on a weekend day, I'm like, dude, it's, it's completely gone. Like, absolutely just gone. I don't know where it is. Check it out at the kids' house. You can tell it's been low-sided on the right side, pretty good, right? Where the uh, the clutch cover is, that's got a pretty good gouge. The stator cover is pretty good, so the left side was on time. The right side really is where it went down. Maybe once, not surprisingly, maybe twice. Check it out. You know, we talk about it. We head back to his truck. You know, where he had his trailer. I'm like, I'm like, all right, what do you think? He's like, it's a good buy. You know, for the price too, and uh. What, what the market is asking for for these things. You know, it was really just on the low side of it. I ended up buying it for $2,900, miles for $900. It's an okay deal. For the area that we're in, it's a lot better because everybody, right now especially, last year, people can sell a 20,000 mile bike for at least four or five grand, you know. And it's ridiculous because people will actually buy it. You know, people are, are incentivized in that market. They're willing to pay for that, you know, that type of stuff. So yeah, that's what I started off with. I started it off with the CBR 600 double R at my first bike. And now I'm on an Aprilia RS 660. Do I regret it? The world may never know. Do I regret it? Because that bike has taught me a lot. There are some cases where I do wish I started on a lower CC bike for the fact that, you know, progressing up towards like bigger stuff is always fun and enjoyable. There's nothing wrong with starting off with a 600 if you behave yourself, right? If you don't behave yourself, 